right, hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Behind me we have the 1985 300D that you just saw me pick up in West Vancouver, British Columbia. This is the 48,000 mile 300D. The car is beautiful. Today we're gonna do, uh, we're gonna go ahead and wash the car, uh, clean the engine compartment, because uh, I just got it off the transport back to the shop. Uh, and then there's a couple of things I want to do to make sure it's back to 100% factory original. First thing we notice is that the yellow fog lights are not there and the orange side markers are not there. So the uh, previous owner liked the clear type better, so he just swapped those out. But the original ones are in the trunk of the car, so we're just going to pop those out, put them back to original. And then also... Uh, this chrome uh, grill cover right here, that is not what came on the 1985. This is the earlier year cars. So I'm going to pop this off. And again, in the trunk, I'm going to take the original black piece. It's a black uh, cow cover that goes on this car. And that will put the car back to 100% uh, original. So not really too much we need to do there. Uh, so first, we're going to go ahead and back the car out of the shop wash it, clean it up real nice, and then pull it back in, and I'll start doing these minor changes to make sure we have a 100% factory original vehicle. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and start with cleaning and degreasing the engine compartment. And as you can see, uh, the car is very clean already. Um, all the cadmium plating is perfectly intact. Um, I usually like to clean, uh, gosh, it's even clean down in here. I mean, there's just a little, a little uh, grease and debris. So this is gonna be a very mild cleaning. Uh, there's not really much to do on a 48,000 mile car. It's not really that dirty. Wow, it's even uh, clean down here in the injection pump area. So we're gonna do a mild cleaning. Uh, also what I've noticed, this is actually the original hood pad. Now, I'm tempted to leave it on there However, if you touch it, it, it just falls apart. See that? I mean, if you barely touch it. So this is like, this needs to come off because that's just going to be a mess in the future uh, if someone drives this vehicle, uh, you know, starts driving it every once in a while. For example, yeah, see, it just, it's, it just, it's rotten. That is the original foam. So... I would like to leave it just for originality, but just the way it is, is it needs to come off and a new hood pad needs to go on there. So I'll go ahead and do that. Let's get uh, some of the degreaser, go ahead and spray down the engine compartment and then start that cleaning process. All right, guys, this is the degreaser uh, that I have a lot of, uh, this works very well, a lot of success with this. Super heavy duty degreaser. You can buy this at Harbor Freight. It's actually biodegradable. Uh, but this stuff works great. Now you need to mix it with a little bit of water. It's a concentrate. So I just mix it up in a spray bottle. Um, and when you're spraying it on the engine, don't be afraid uh, to spray this stuff on uh, everything. You know, I kind of limit the spray on the aluminum, uh, like valve cover housing. Um, but you can get it all down in the injector, all down on the... Uh, uh, inner fenders and I like especially to do it on the front of the engine let me show you what this the before and after okay you can see that's what it looks like right now see we have some grease uh, over here we have a little bit of grease here this is actually an extremely clean engine but I'll show you what that looks like after I'm done you can see the degreaser has already been sprayed on there I like to get down in this area and I cover up the fenders with plastic because I don't want this getting on the external surface of the uh, vehicle but you can liberally spray this there we go all over the engine compartment it won't hurt anything and we'll get down here on the gearbox steering gearbox all right, guys, that's it. I've basically coated everything. Now, I'm going to let that sit uh, for about 10 minutes. Just let it do its thing. Let's get right down in there a little better. 
let's look around here under the turbo area. We'll get down there a little bit. It's really already extremely clean here. All right, now I just want to let all that sit for about 10 minutes. And then this is a, uh, it's a low, uh, you know, 2000 PSI. This is, it's, it's an electric pressure washer. It's not extremely powerful. And then you can go ahead and pressure wash it all off. While that degreaser is soaking in, I'm gonna go ahead and throw down a, a blanket. And we're gonna go ahead and get this hood pad off because this is nasty. And the way you get the uh, old hood pads off is your standard uh, paint scrapers. Yeah, see, see how, I mean, this stuff is done. All right, that hood pad is off. Now, guys, you do not need to get in here and try to scrape off this rough over it, but you do not need to get in here and get every little last bit of glue residue because you're going to respray all this with a, an entire can of the 3M Super Trim Adhesive. Uh, you do not need to worry about getting OCD about getting those last little glue residue off. It will, it, it sticks like nothing I've ever seen. So that's fine. So now let's go ahead, get our tools out of the way. We'll wrap this blanket up, degrease the engine, and then wash the car. All right, that's it. This uh, engine was not very greasy, but I want to show you the after pictures. Remember what that looked like before? See how clean it is now? All of the grease has been removed. Remember the cadmium before? See how it brings back the original shine? Very subtle, but when you degrease them, it makes a big difference. So let's go ahead and get this plastic off and wash the entire car now. All right, now let's take the car in the garage. We'll get up on the lift. We'll change the side markers, the fog lights, uh, and these grills back to the originals that are in the trunk. So let's get it on in the garage. We're also gonna do the uh, inspection video, the undercarriage inspection. All right, guys, we're back in the garage. I've washed the car and detailed the engine compartment. Uh, of course, it hasn't gone to the detail shop yet, but let me just show you guys this original engine compartment. Guys, that's a 48,000 mile 300D. Look how incredible all these pieces are. The cadmium is very bright. You can see there's still a little water in here from where I sprayed it down. But look at all the rubber pieces.
unbelievable. Look how clean that is. You can still see there's some, looks like some factory markings on there where they torqued the uh, nut down on the vacuum pump. Now what's interesting on this car, <clears throat> the original owner spliced in a, uh, a shutoff switch. So I don't know if I'm going to leave that or take it out, but what it allows you to do when you park your car somewhere, you just turn that key and that, that's your battery cut off. So you can close your hood and people can't steal your car. It also lets you store the car over the winter time and it won't drain your battery because you have a battery cut off. So that's kind of cool. But just wanted to show you that. That uh, is a beautiful engine. Let me show you guys inside this car. Yeah, look at these door panels. Look at the dash, look at the wood grain. Fantastic, look at the wood grain here. Original radio, look at that wood. Fantastic, that's all original you guys. Oh yeah, look at the dash. This is as good as it gets. <laughs> 78,000 kilometers or 48,000 miles. See how bright orange all the needles are, or all the dials are. Around the door, the uh, vinyl around the door, see how there's no wrinkling or anything. It's just absolutely incredible. No cracking. Anyway, we'll do all this in the walk around video. I'm just kind of blown away by this vehicle. So I wanted you guys to see it. Here's just a quick glance of the interior. Look at those seats. No pink Camino. No nothing. This is just like a perfect time capsule. Nicest 300D I've ever seen. All right, let's go start on the front. But what we're gonna do now is go ahead and pop back in the original, look at these original Bosch uh, headlight bezels. There's not even a crack or chip in it. We're gonna go ahead and put in the yellow fog lights and the orange side markers. And then we got I gotta put in an order for the replacement hood pad. So let's go ahead and get these out of here. All right, guys, before uh, I start on the uh, changing the side markers and the uh, yellow fog lights, I want to put this thing up on the lift and do my initial inspection of the vehicle. All right, guys, let's go under here and do the inspection of the vehicle. First thing that stands out. All of the cadmium plating is still on the lines down here. That is extremely rare to find. It's even on the oil cooler lines right there. Oil pan gasket looks good. Let's go look at the suspension. Ball joint boot still intact. Tie rods. Still tight. The boots are still intact. Check it out. The cadmium is still on these bolts. This is what I love about these low mileage cars. There's the uh, transmission cooler line. The cadmium is still on that line. Rubber boot on the center link. Still intact. Tie rod. Boots on the tie rod. Still intact. Idler arm. Strong, no play in the idler arm. Uh, right here, this is important. You see the, this is the oil filter housing uh, that mounts to the side of the block. You see how dry that is? There's no oil leaks from the oil filter housing. That's a common leak area. Looks fantastic. Look at that, look at these bushings. 
Look at those lower control arm bushings. Outstanding condition. Let's check over here on this side. Yeah, look at those bushings. Those bushings are in outstanding condition. Engine shocks look great. More cadmium up here on the AC line. And that's still an R12 system. So maybe I can bring this thing uh, back to life because such low miles. There's the uh, um, oil drain back tube uh, right here. That gasket or grommet is still in great condition. It's not leaking from under there. Transmission, look, there's the original factory markings. Very clean. There's the vacuum control module. Right here, this little green module. Look how clean that is. All the cadmium is still on all these bolts. There we go. Look how clean it is back there in the transmission. Still has the uh, insulation around the speedometer cable. Let's see if we can get a look at that. Yeah, right here. Insulation is still around there. That's awesome. Flex disc, excellent condition. Transmission mount, excellent condition. And there's all the factory markings. Brake lines and fuel lines, excellent condition. Little rubber grommet still intact that holds those in place. Let's go back here and look at the back. Oh, wow, look at these boots. There is not a single crack on that axle boot. These low mileage cars are just, uh, they're always such outstanding condition. Look at that, look at these boots. Got tons of mileage left in that. Spider web right there. I can see these lines. That line has been replaced at one point. Yep, I can see this line has been replaced too. That's good. Those uh those will get leaky. Those are your fuel lines. The differential bushing, look at that, excellent condition. No leaks from the differential. Exhaust looks good. Even the uh, exhaust hangers, those rubber, that rubber is still good. Um, check this out. So this is back behind the rear bumper, you can still see all the Cosmoline sprayed from the factory and all the original clips holding the uh, this, this rubber bumper piece in place. All those clips are still back there. Look at all that Cosmoline. This is an area that, uh, you know, water gets kicked up here. So this area can rust. You know, I, still, I still see all the Cosmoline on the, uh, on the bolts back here. Uh, look underneath here. Not a single speck of rust anywhere. Check this side. Yeah, that looks fantastic. Still see some like Cosmoline up in here. Sway bar in links. The boots are still intact. Those are still tight. Let's go check this one over here. Oh yeah, those are still good. Still see the cadmium plating on the rear sway bar bushing. Extremely difficult to find them. They have the cadmium plating still under the car. Um, I've already got new uh, Uniroyal tires mounted. Uniroyal is actually owned by Michelin. You can't get the Michelins anymore for these. But look at the condition of this original bunt. I've already taken all the lugs out except one because we want to uh, inspect the calipers and rotors. Look at the trim under the car. Oh, it still has the original covers. Look at that. The original covers on the uh, jack points. Let me see if I can get this one out. 
Wow, check that out. Perfect condition. <laughs> that is awesome. <clears throat> Push that back in there. Wow. Even the trim under the car is awesome. This is definitely 48,000 miles, guys. Look at this wheel up here. Look at that condition of that original bunt. Absolutely beautiful. And we'll take these off. I've, I've already got, like I said, all the lug bolts off except for one so we can inspect the brakes. Um, Common area you see rust is the seams on the front of this car. On the front, I mean, of 300 Ds, and you can see there's not a speck of rust anywhere under here. Super clean. I think it still says Mercedes-Benz. Still got a part number underneath the bumper. That's pretty cool. Yeah, this is beautiful condition. But yeah, that's impressive. Having all that cadmium under here, you never see that. That's always... See, cadmium is a sacrificial coating, and the cadmium wears off uh, to prevent rust. It's a wear item, so it'll wear off before the part rusts. So when the cadmium is still in place like this, that means there was nothing getting under here causing anything to rust. So the cadmium never wore off, and it, it stayed on there, which is really awesome. I mean, you see that in engine compartments, but to see that under the car is pretty incredible. Bunt is beautiful condition. A little paint wearing right here. Sorry, it's wet from where I washed the car earlier. Um, got a little bit of the paint wearing right there. It comes back here. Yeah, that's fantastic condition. There we go, let's look at the muffler. Muffler, oh, I guess that's the resonator. I think that's the muffler back there. Good condition, got the usual surface rust on the muffler, but what you wanna, I mean on the uh, exhaust pipe, but what you wanna look for, you look for black trails uh, down through here, cause that's a leak point. And there's no, no black trails here. That's still a solid exhaust. Transmission pan looks excellent. Let's look at the rear flex disc. Here we go, there's a drive shaft. Yeah, you can still see the factory markings on there. That's amazing. Uh, body bushings. Yeah, the body bushings are amazing condition. Look at that rubber. That's great. Bushings back here, good condition. Check a body bushing over here. Uh, there's the tank uh, breather, all still intact. Yeah, this is fantastic, incredible condition. I don't really see anything that I need to replace under here. Floor pans are outstanding and that surface rust that's that's normal guys that's on all the exhausts that's just uh i mean maybe on some some super low mileage california cars you won't see it as much but uh yeah that's normal surface rust on the exhaust pipe that's on every one of the cars no matter you could have 50 miles on the car and you'd still see that Oh, the transmission. So this is the, the bushings that mount the uh, exhaust to the transmission. Uh, this is a bracket, and you can see the bushings here. Excellent condition. They're not rotted. Still got cadmium plating on the bolts around the transmission. Look at that. Look how clean the transmission is. Yeah, just look how clean it is all in this whole area. Yeah, this is awesome. Radiator hoses. Yeah, hoses are in excellent condition. There's the horn. It's very clean up here. 
Not really any dirt or debris up in there. Oil cooler lines. There's, they're not wet. They're not leaking. Wow, look at the cadmium back there. So bright. Even the uh, transmission cooler lines that go into the radiator. Excellent condition. Yeah, this is great. I think this has been replaced at some point. It says Harrison on there. Um, so that's good. They were maintaining the R12 system. So I bet you I can recharge this and add some uh, ester oil back in there. And that AC is going to work fantastic. Um, it was actually... Uh, when I was making the drive back, it was a little cool, so I never had a use for the AC. But I'll try that out now that I'm back in Georgia. So let's go ahead and pop off these wheels and uh, let's inspect the rotors, calipers, look at some suspension components. Okay, just inspecting the rotors. Uh, they're smooth, there's no grooving. And yeah, somebody replaced these pads recently. Look how thick that pad is. It's as thick as my pinky. Yeah, those those have been recently changed. Look at the look at the how clean the upper control arm is. That that boot is excellent condition. Wow, even the uh, even the rubber bushings up top there. Are great condition. I mean, this is 48,000 miles, you know, that uh, these things last well over 100,000 miles. Yeah, same goes on this side. Even the original shock covers are on here. Yeah, you know, look how smooth that rotor is. There's no lip on the rotor, no grooving in the rotor. I'm, I mean, those could be original, but yeah, there's no reason to change that. That's good condition. Let's check the, yep, yeah, those are, those are new pads. Nothing else to say about that. Those are, those are definitely new pads. Let's go check the back. Same goes for these. These are even better. Gosh, it's like there's no wear at all on that. Oh yeah, these are new pads back here too. Look how thick that pad is there and there. Yep, somebody replaced those. Somebody had to have replaced those. Same goes over here. This rotor is also excellent condition. In the wheel wells, no rust. Not a speck of rust anywhere. This has clearly been driven in a dry it, only in dry weather or there's you got the original paint still under here in perfect condition let's go check up on the front oh yeah you can see when i washed it uh the water was cor correctly running down the drain see how it's wet here that covers up the uh drain area and that's where the water comes through when you spray water in the cowling area let's go check and see if the drain over here yeah, you can still see a little water coming out right there so the drains aren't clogged. The plastic cover is good condition. Probably should put on another glove, huh? Oh, yeah. Look how clean that is. No rust on any of this. No no, no surface rust, not, any, not a speck of any rust. Yeah, look at that. That's the original body paint that you see right here. Yeah, that's great. So uh, I want to look in the trunk, pull off one of the panels and look behind the panels in the trunk. Okay, so we're at the trunk and I've pulled back the plastic panel so you can see, uh, you know, there's a plastic in, uh, trunk liner. So I've pulled this back to get behind here. And guys, look at that. That's the Cosmoline from the factory. That's the waxy stuff they would spray back there. It is still all in here on all the bolts. Look how clean it is under there. Let's see if I can get it to focus. There's the original Hirschman antenna. Yeah, I don't think this panel has ever been off before. I haven't vacuumed or anything back here. 
That's the original Cosmoline. So yeah, no rust anywhere. You can see the Cosmoline even up in here. See where they sprayed it all up in there? See it back in there? That yellowy looking stuff? Pretty cool. Oh, look, the uh, trunk light still works. <laughs> Fantastic. Button this back up. Before we do that, I noticed something else. Look, that's the original rubber grommet around the antenna is not even cracked. Someone must have replaced that, or it's just in that good a condition. These are normally ripped and kind of deteriorating. That one's in perfect condition. I bet that was replaced. All right, let's go do these uh, lights and blinkers. If you guys remember, when I was at Mercedes Source, we pointed out uh, there were mud flaps on here. And luckily, there were no holes drilled or anything for the mud flaps. They were just, uh, there was like a little clamp that clamped around uh, the lip right here. Hey, Jefferson. No, stay over there. Uh, so I just removed those mud flaps because uh, those were not original to the factory. And everything looks great under there. Something I noticed right here is this switch. Um, Normally, when I see that, that means there was an alarm system installed. However, I don't see any remnants of an alarm system, so I don't know if that is still hooked up. But you'd normally see uh, the dealership would install these, and usually the, the uh, alarm siren would be right in this area. But uh, I don't see anything, so I'm assuming that's what that was. All right, let's go ahead and take off this headlight bezel here and get these uh, fog lights out of here. The way you do it, there's just some plastic uh, nuts that screw onto the back. See, they look like this. There's like four of them uh, per side and they hold that uh, this Bosch bezel in here and you take them off. Now, you want to be careful when you're doing this because the side marker actually has, there you go, these little clips that slide in. So if you try to force it out, uh, it'll break those clips. So let's unplug. There we go. All right. So we have this, uh, I don't know if that's a Euro style, but it's not the correct color. So let's put the originals back in. We'll go ahead and take off this Bosch cover here. And now we can get access to put the correct uh, fog light back in. Got to remove this surround, this... Uh, chrome or anodized aluminum surround and then that frees up that frees up the uh, headlamp to come out <clears throat> all right now we got to unplug it There we go. All right, that's screwed in enough to hold it. Now let's uh, let's go test it and turn it on. There we go. Much better. We've got our Bosch fog light in. Now we want to put the original bezel back on, and we also have our the correct side marker. Hey Jefferson. Hey buddy. <laughs> All right. Boom. That side is done. That's what it is supposed to look like. So let's go ahead and uh, test it. I'm going to um, go turn on the fog light and hit the blinker. We'll make sure it works. Excellent. 
That's what a 300D is supposed to look like. Okay, we have this side reassembled and we're just putting in the screws on the back of the headlight bezel. All right, look at that. So now, let's see what it looks like. All right, there's the emergency hazards. Right side, left side. There they both are, low beams. Fog lights, high beams, and the fog lights turn off. There we go. Now let's check the blinkers. Left blinker, right blinker, and blinkers with headlights on and running lights on. All right, guys, mission accomplished. That is how a 300D is supposed to look. So we got it back to factory. Now the next thing we want to do. So this chrome piece, this was on the early 300Ds. The later 300Ds, uh, actually, this piece was black. So we're going to pop this out and replace it with the correct black piece. And then this car will be back to 100% factory original. Now to get this out, it's kind of interesting. These clips right here, use a little punch and you push the little plastic piece. You just push it through. Right there. When you push it through, then it releases it and you can pull it off. Now we have to take the uh, windshield wiper off to do that. Okay, to take the uh, wiper assembly off, you lift it up a little bit, and that allows you to lift that cover up. And under that cover, I think that is a 13 millimeter. And I just wiggle it a little, a little bit, and it's a spline fit. There we go. You can see, let's see. Right in there, see those splines? And there's splines right on the shaft. And that's what grips it so it can turn when the motor turns. Actually, I'm gonna use this little blunt punch. And you can just punch out a little plastic insert. There we go, and it just falls down in there and you can retrieve it once this comes off. There we go. There we go. Now, this piece will actually come off. All right, then we need to retrieve our little plastic pieces. One, super clean. Cadmium is still on those bolts for the motor. It's still even on the, uh, the arm right there that turns the wiper right down in there. Super clean in there. So now let's put the correct black cow vent on the car. All right, here's the correct original piece that would have come on the car. This was, uh, I'm glad all these parts came with the car. Now on the back of it, you see these little, little clips or indentions. Those clip right under this lip right here so it goes in the back end and then lays down before we do that just gonna wipe that down a little bit there we go lay the back side in there There we go. Get all the clips in there. And the way you know which ways these go, Mercedes marked them. So on the bottom of the pin, they put a little cross. See that? 
and on the top of the pin, it's smooth. So it goes cross side down. That's the way you know how to install them. Push them in. I'm just going to get them started. All right. Now I'm going to grab my blunt punch. Here we go. You can use the back side of it. And push them down in there. And this back side is a little larger than the pin, so it stops it when you hit the, uh, actually get to the grill, so you don't push it through. And there we go, guys. That is how the 1985 300D came from the factory. So now let's put our wiper back on and do the other side. All right, guys. There we go, back to factory original how the 85300D shipped from Mercedes. Got the cowl uh, covers in, the correct fog lights and side markers. Look at that beautiful side marker. That is in such good condition. Right there it says Bosch, that's original. Bosch, made in Germany. Bosch, that's the original stuff guys. So while we're doing our inspection, uh, I want to take a look under this battery tray uh, to see the condition of the battery tray. You know, that's a weak spot on 300D. So I just want to see the condition of this battery tray. Oh, wow. That is incredible condition. There's some soap, actually, from when I washed the car today. That is one of the best battery trays I have ever seen. There's not even, there's a little surface rust right there. Let me go ahead and wipe out some of that soap from when I washed it. This is the uh, tube that plugs into the side of the battery. We'll take that out. All right, guys, I cleaned that out. And you can see down there, it is incredible condition. That's one of the best looking battery trays I've ever seen. There's not one single spot. Where it has rusted through. We can see the cosmoline is still in here where the hinge retracts. There's the pin. I'll lubricate that pin there when I do the general service. But yeah, you can see right along the edge back in there. I'm looking down this little crack. Usually that's where they rust and I can tell this one is spotless. There is the drain. It's a little blurry. So I'm move these wires out of the way. Yeah, there's the drain. There's not even any debris down in there. So here's an interesting uh, thing the original owner did. He wired in. You can see right here is a battery shutoff switch. And right there, here's the key. Actually, I gotta detach it. Here's an extra one he included. But there's the key. You put the key in and turn it, and it completes the circuit to the battery. So that is, uh, that's pretty cool. I think I want to leave that in there because that, I like that. Um, that way, you know, uh, in the wintertime, you can uh, turn that key and it uh, disconnects the battery. Or if you go somewhere and park the car for an extended period of time, pop the hood, disconnect the battery, and then, you know, no one can steal your vehicle. So that is, uh, that's super cool. Anyway, so we're gonna get another battery. But good to see. Um, I hate when I find rust under the battery trays and, and this one's really clean. So also what we wanna do, I'm gonna go ahead and order a uh, hood pad. You can see where we scraped off that old original hood pad. And then we'll get a fresh, uh, fresh hood pad on there. So that's it for this video. Got this thing back to 100% uh, factory original. Didn't have to do much. Did the inspection. Car is in outstanding condition. All the cadmium plating is under the vehicle and in the engine compartment. So 
Uh, I've got the new tires on. Next video, we're going to do fil uh, fluids and filters. We want to change all the fluids and filters in the car. So just a general service uh, and then a recharge of the AC system. And then we do a test drive and walk around video. And this baby should be ready to go. So stay tuned.